transmission line. In all Merry Crushers, the transmission line is similar. In smaller units, the components are smaller, and in bigger units, the components are bigger. But the principle remains the same. We have T gear, secondary garden shaft line, Suokone patented POC safety clutch, side gear box, and then last the rotor. In Merry Crushers, we do not have any separated complicated rotor bearings. Instead, the side gearbox carries all the weight and loads of the rotor. So it is all built into the side gearbox. This way we can keep the construction very simple and reliable. More than 50 years experience of engineering and manufacturing of gearboxes has taught us how to build them reliable without the need of any separated oil cooling systems. As a matter of fact, disconnecting the gearbox happens by only opening those six big bolts. See it yourself if you don't believe it. On rotor side, we have bolted splined flange where the gearbox shaft goes into. Many times the simplest solutions are the most reliable and practical one, but they require the hardest thinking. Once again, the principle is the same in all Mary Crushers, but the scale is just different. Next, we will focus on POC safety clutch. POC stands for pressure operated clutch. Clutch is like a car brake, but it is on all the time. Clutch do slip when the adjusted torque is exceeded. During the work, clutch cuts off the peak loads all the time and protects the whole transmission line, both crushers and tractors. Torque of the clutch is adjusted by grease pressure and it is easy to adjust matching the tractor's power. Let's have a look on the table. Currently we are using three different sizes of POC clutches. The smallest one comes with two brake calipers. It is used in chain driven models MJ and MJSC. In the middle we have a clutch with three brake calipers. This is used with G Seria side gearboxes. Then the biggest model, it also comes with three brake calipers, but the brake disc is larger. It is used with X Seria side gearboxes. Clutch is partly built out of the car parts brake calipers, brake pads, ETC. As we all know, these components are designed to work under the heat, which is very important because the clutch heats up during the work when it slips. As a matter of fact, the friction of the pads just increases till 250 degrees of Celsius. Clutch is not RPM dependent. It remains the same torque in all RPM levels. Unlike turbine clutches, they need the high velocity to keep the torque on. Here we have pressure adjustment valve. In the center, pressure adjustment screw. And here, a lock nut. Pressure accumulators. Three pieces. They all work in different pressure zones. 
freeze nipples for pressurizing. Let's have a look how to adjust it. Torque and pressure adjustment happens through the adjustment valve. Actually, it is just a pressure relief valve. To adjustment, we need 6 mm hexagon head key and 90 mm wrench and an operating manual. In the operating manual, there are a lot of detailed information about the clutch, but now we are interested of the table where the adjustment values are told. Our tractor has got some tender loving care and we have 210 horsepowers coming out of the PDO. We have SDG model. Then we look at the adjustment screw position from 220 horsepowers. It says 0 0.5 rounds open. It means we fully close the screw and then open it 0 0.5 rounds. Then we should have about 125 bars adjustment in the clutch what matches with our tractor. Notice for DTG models the values are different because the power is driven through two clutches. It is very important to adjust both clutches to the same value. Let's see here. First we open the lock nut, then we fully close the adjustment screw, then we open it 0 0.5 rounds as the manual tells us. Then we tighten the lock nut. Every time the pressure is adjust, adjusted, clutch needs to be repressurized. Repressurizing happens by pumping grease through the system. We take the grease gun, Now pay attention to the accumulators. These pistons should start moving outwards while I'm pumping the grease into the system. Pistons are moving and when the clutch is full, the grease should come out through the adjustment screw. As you see, now the crease is coming out. Now the clutch is pressurized and we are good to go. Remember, the values in the table are referencing and every tractor is different. During the first test run, you'll notice is the clutch in correct adjustment. Sometimes it needs to be tightened or loosened a bit. But once the correct adjustment is found, it only requires the repressurizing. Repressurizing must be done every morning when you start the work. When working in heavy conditions where the peak loads appears more often and the clutch heats up, it is recommended to repressurize the clutch maybe once or twice during the workday. Remember when you start repressurizing the clutch, the temperature of the clutch should not be too high. If you can touch it by hand, then it is in a correct temperature. Ideal adjustment is so that the clutch can stall the tractor slowly. When the tractor is taking its last breath, clutch should sleep and give more time for the operator to react and raise the crusher up to the air. Then you are able to drive all the power to the rotor and clutch is still cutting off the peak loads and protecting the transmission line effectively. Next, I'll try to 
demonstrate you the clutch in action. I'll set the clutch pressure very low by purpose to make it slip easy. Let's see what happens. Now we have the clutch set loose to make it slip easy. Let me demonstrate you and show what happens. There you see, when I lower the rotor into the ground, the rotor stops rotating and secondary sub is still spinning. When I raise the machine, the rotor starts rotating again. Once more, now I lower the rotor into the ground and the rotor stops spinning and the secondary sub is still spinning. When we raise the machine, the rotor starts rotating again. This is how it works. Now the clutch is hot from the slipping, so we must cool it down before adjusting and repressurizing it. You can use water for cooling it down or let it spin in the air and let the air cool it down. But we are going to use snow since we have plenty of it. Now the clutch has cooled down and I can touch it by hand. So now we can adjust it and repressurize it again. We open the lock nut. We fully close the adjustment screw. Then half rounds open. We tighten the lock nut. And last, we pump the grease through the system. Now grease is coming out through the valve and now we are good to go. Thank you very much for listening. I hope this video gives you better understanding why we use slogan Merry Crusher, different for a reason. For more information please visit merrycrusher.com. Thank <laughs> you.